Hello everybody, Mr. Rockwar here, back with you for some more Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. In the last episode, we didn't do really much of anything. We sent a couple rockets up, a couple rockets came crashing back down, and, you know, it was, it was not good. So I did a little bit, did a little bit of a test there. Come on, continue. Okay, so while that's going, let's wait, uh, I have been doing some work to, uh, okay, so let's load up this flight real fast, I mean, I figured out a couple things, so I can highlight over here, and I can do recover vessel, we should have some, some science done, hopefully, maybe, yeah, see, plus five science, see, it survived, let's go do our other flight, and they should be, yep, so just a bunch of remaining flights that I also learned how to do, Okay, we'll recover our vessel. That should give us some more science. And that science will point eight science, okay. And that should allow us to have five science, which is enough for basic rocketry. Okay. So let's research all this stuff and then we can get to just more other stuff down here later. More just more fuel. More ambitious ideas. Reaching with the stars, keeping our spacecraft pointed in general in the right direction, which includes radial decoupler, which might be interesting. Survivability, which is liquid fuel engine, and parach parachutes. Okay, so that's um, that's stuff we're gonna probably that parachutes that we're gonna want to look into. Okay, so let's close this, and now we should have, I believe. More parts? Come on, I'm gonna... My mouse hasn't been working too terribly well the last couple days, so... Alright, so we should have... Yes, a whole bunch of new stuff. So, I guess let's get going building a new rocket then. Scroll up here a little bit. First things we're gonna want to do... Something we can't, we couldn't do before is put a stack decoupler on here. So this will uh, help guarantee part of our safe return when we just when we disconnect all of our engines. Uh, next thing we're gonna want to do is pass a tear parachute on top, as always. Mod this is true, which is a science thing, which we will sure. We're gonna attach this stuff, <coughs> this stuff to our pod. And our pod's hopefully gonna be the thing that's gonna go the farthest. So, we have our radial, we have our decoupler. So this is this is our main control unit, and will be probably relatively constant. So let's go put on. I believe we got some like larger fuel tanks. I want to say. Yeah, compared to the other ones. Okay. Actually, what we could do. So let's do small fuel tank right here. Small engine. This is like our emergent, our like little last resort craft. Do a stack decoupler on there, so that'll, yep, cover that up. And then we'll do. Come on, where am I? Anywhere. Do a much larger field, fuel tank. No, this is gonna get, this is gonna be kind of big. Nope, not what I wanted. Move that up. Toss this engine down here. And then we'll be able to disconnect this once we are done. And as you can see, this, uh, these stack decouplers automatically separate stuff into groups for me. Then what else we're going to do? We're going to get some of our oops, structural. Snap to angles. Something like this. We've done this before. Hopefully this will work. As you can see, we don't have any sort of like structural parts of this, so they're going to basically be... We don't have any structural components to this, so they're going to be all stuck on until we just dis until we get rid of this first stage of the rocket. Okay, so, this is, um, for science. And hopefully, you know, it will be for science. And we'll do that, and we'll save it, and we'll launch. Okay. 
Now what are we going to do here? Okay, so what we can do first, and yeah, just first we're going to turn our SAS module, see if that hopefully works. So what we can do here, crew report, transmit value. Okay, so what we're going to do, serve mystery goo, transmit data. Okay, so what we can do is, it is time to start our rockets. And we don't have enough electricity to, to set this up, so we have to use our engines to start crew reports, transmit data. And it appears I've lost my first engine, which is not great. Why am I losing so much charge? Well, it's, we're going. So here we are. Uh, so let's try and upload all of our data as we are, uh, you know, going farther into the sky. So this liquid fuel engine probably won't end up taking us too terribly far. Okay. Yeah, it didn't work. That didn't work like at all. Yeah, we can't. We can't transfer anything. Let's just speed this up and watch our Kerbals fall back to wherever. Made into the atmosphere at least, so there's, there is something that... Oh god, where are we going? <laughs> he does not look too happy. Um, so, and we're slowing down. Welcome to space, everybody! We get very much science out of this. Yeah, he's he's happy. Although I imagine he won't be for too terribly long once he realizes he's starting to go back down to Earth. Oh dear. Well, sir, it was it was wonderful knowing you. I'm sure you're having a great time. So we need some sort of, another, we need more ways to uh, generate power than what we have. So obviously the stuff we did to begin with, not working too well. Alright, so what do we, I guess we'll have to like lower our ambitions for right now. The, oh, the parachute broke. That's awkward. That's awkward. Vehicle assembly. Let's let's try this again. Okay, so last time our en this engine broke off. So let's um, so can we put these engines even farther out? Maybe will that do anything? I know it makes it like even less structurally sound, but uh, got anything to see, keep, see if I can keep this keep this middle rocket from uh you know, exploding into a whole bunch of fire immediately. Now let's turn off this symmetry mode real fast, and I can put these on one at a time. You gonna work for me, work for me here, man? Okay. Is it just part of it being a little bit beta, alpha, whatever build Kerbal Space Program currently is in? It's only two more. We need the solid fuel boosters to give us uh, our starting height. So that looks pretty good. What if I did? What's something like right here, like between each of these? This is terrible. This is a terrible idea. This is why you don't let me. That's why you don't let me build space vessels. Oh dear. Oh dear. Don't worry guys, this is totally gonna work. I, I promise you that the solution to our, all of our problems is more solid fuel boosters. Oh my god. Let's, let's save it and let's launch it.
Okay, turn the SAS module on, throttle up to full power, and mash the space. Oh dear, oh dear. Nope, 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 nope. It's... It's actually... Holy shit, it's kind of working. It is actually kind of working. Oh god. You! Do science! Crew reports! Send it back! Holy shit. Holy shit. We're alive. It's by some crazy miracle. I'm... I am amazed. Observe the goo. Okay. Review data. Send the data. We don't have enough charge left to, uh... Well... It's better than I could have hoped. We got some science out of it. So... Oh, look, we're in orbit! Holy sh... Did we actually achieve orbit? No, we did not. We're getting an island, though. That, that's something. That's... So I guess uh, if this whole space program thing doesn't work out, we could become a, a missile manufacturer. That, that sounds like fun. Okay, so let's turn on our parachute, and hopefully we don't crash and burn a hor in a horrible death. Wow, it's seeming like a perfect shot, isn't it? No, we are quite, I don't think we're quite going to hit it, Not especially with this parachute. So are we gonna are we gonna live? It's almost we're getting there. We're getting there. Going to 130. 110. There's like fucking nothing else this, this parachute is attached to it. What the fuck parachute? You are the shittiest parachute of all time. Okay, we're going we're going to vehicle. Okay, let's, let's go back to our space center. You are, you are the shittiest parachute of all time. Alright, Space Center. How much science? We have eight science. But we can't afford any of this. Fifteen, eighteen, twenty. So let's go. I'm gonna go with the survivability one first. That gives us what? Okay. So <coughs> landing struts and radial mount parachutes. Let's go. Um. We're going to want those radio pump parachutes, because I know us, and it's not going to be fun to, to work with this stuff. What's design? Almost worked. Almost. That means we need to do the, uh... Come on. We need the idea that we need even more engines. Which means... So we do something like this. So turn signature mode like that. Okay. So uh, um on, what signature mode we need to have a talk about you turning yourself off. Okay, so what, what are we doing here? See, it turns itself off! What, what, what is this symmetry mode? See, I, I, like, I get it symmetrical, and then it's like, nope. Okay, we're take this off. You go back on. So that's our is our like main stage. That is another engine. Which means we need to put on another large fuel tank. Another one of these. And this then goes back on on the bottom. And we will uh launch our new design in the worst way possible. Okay. Oh my god.
<laughs> That's the worst idea. So, did I touch up with the radial decoupler at all? I don't think I did. This may be awkward. No, I didn't. That's that's awkward. Okay, so quickly, quickly before we start just before we start dying, crew reports. Is there the mystery you? Okay. Maybe ready for second stage. Those two engines right there that are still working, and here's we are. We are still. We are not gaining speed. Now we are. Goodbye, large uh, back end. Preview the report that we had before. Transmit the data. So that's what we're just doing. Read data and send it. Hopefully we get at least some science out of this. 8.6 science added. Awesome. So we're basically fucked at this point. You know, we're, get, we're getting science done. It may just... Just because their science is the launching ourselves into our atmosphere over and over and over again. It's still science. Okay, ne next iteration. Add in that, that radial decoupler that I needed. Hopefully that'll work. Or not the radial decoupler, the uh, stack decoupler that I was uh, going to put in originally, and didn't. And look at those parts fall. Oh, look at this. How are we going to get... Where, 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 where does our uh, map say we're going to land? Didn't quite make it as far as last time. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that is a good thing. Let's see, our goal here isn't even to get into orbit yet. Although that is... That is a goal that I am that I would like to work towards. Uh, the radial decouplers are the, another thing that I like to do, so I can, you know, use the solid field boosters to get into orbit, and then use the, uh, use the, um, liquid fuel engines to, uh, get farther along. Another thing we might want to look at adding is, uh, some more parachutes. Oh, we're, we're gonna slow down enough. See, the parachute comes open, and it just breaks immediately. I guess I'm probably at least kind of bad, which is which explains why it's probably I'm moving too quickly before the parachute. Yep, I right, saw so revert to vehicle assembly. All right, what did we learn last time? That goes right there. Structural. That goes right there. There. Save launch. Try this again. Take two. Boost power up to max. Turn on the SAS module. Launch the rocket. And we're immediately... Crew report. Transmit. Alright. Yeah, we added science. So once we run all the solid fuel, Spinning speed still. We're spinning horribly. What? Why did this all get added to stage zero? Why did they all get... What? I'm so confused. Sort of the mystery goo. Sure? I... I think something happened there that I just don't know. Well, something happened there. I okay, we're we're speeding up again. I'm 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 going to uh, say that it's obviously not my fault, and I'm going to blame it on Alpha. Will it be enough? Will it be enough? Probably not. We've lost a lot of good kerbals. A lot of good kerbals. So that was uh, the shortest flight I believe we've ever had. Actually, I don't know what we're going back to. Um, 
go to our facility. See how much science we've managed to acquire over the course of our uh, our continued fail eights. Maybe if we do the uh, revert to launch pad, it just doesn't. Oh, it probably doesn't. Hmm. So we have to, you know, let our Kerbals die in order to uh, take the science. Why is this still? Solution here is we need more solid fuel boosters, obviously. Yes, that was go right there along with that booster. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. Alright, we're gonna launch. That it's going. Crew report. Launch that shit. Oh god. Oh god, Mr. Goo. Mr. Goo. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. I, what was, what happened there? Oh, my parachute is like not fucking here. That's wonderful. I... The radial, I think the radial decoupler couldn't. Structural failure on linkage. It happened immediately. It happened. Okay, we're going. Right, you, you want the one, guys? We're, we're saying, okay. See these? See these? We're getting, we're saying fuck them. All of them. See, we're taking this whole, like, bottom part and we're getting rid of it. Okay. Okay, so we're, we're left with this current rocket. You and you want one that's good. Well, it's good enough for science. It's good enough for science. So we're gonna start with this. We're gonna power up to max. We're gonna fir actually first. We're gonna start. We're gonna do a crew report. Yes. Okay. That so takes up 30. We're gonna launch. Turn on our SAS module. So we're should we start getting power back? Crew report. Transmit. Okay. Observe the mystery goo. Transmit. Okay, as we get through different atmosphere levels, we should be able to uh You know, talk about different things. No, don't you have to deploy the chute. Don't you dare deploy the chute. Starting transmission. Transmission sent. Perfect. We don't have charge to do anything else. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna you know, use this liquid fuel booster until it runs out. Should get us relatively high. Data received. Crew report flying over Kerbin Shores. It's good. Serve the mystery goo. It's wonderful. The goo jiggles and walks while the craft flies. That's interesting. And then we will drop this engine like it's hot. There we are. So we're, we're actually going up this time. That's impressive. Uh, crew reports. You start that transmission. And are we still going to get power at all? No, we are not. So that goes that way. We go this way. We should just go basically straight up. Where, where does our map say we're going to land? Just over there. We actually probably may have been able to get into orbit that time. If we tried. But, but I'm much too lazy to attempt that. Because this episode is about science. And getting more science. So later. Later we do, uh, we do other things. He's freeze flipping the fuck out. Sorry man, you're gonna probably die anyway, so let's uh do an EVA report and transmit it back. Restore data. And we don't have any power. Wonderful. 
Well, we will let this rocket crash into the ground. We will recover it and hopefully get back some of the science that we that we are gonna do. Get a crew report. Keep it. Sort of the mystery goo. Keep it. Uh, EVA. EVA report. Keep it. So you're going back in. Okay. Well, it was an honor working with you guys. We're, go, we're, we're, we're heading toward the ground at about uh, 200 meters a second. 100 meters a second. 100. Uh, uh, are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Nope. He was, he was a brave Kerbal, and he will be remembered as someone... Oh, uh, back to space. Over the tracking station. Yep, he is a... Uh, going to be bases or sta space stations. Those, those come later. Do we have science? That, that, that's all I really care about at this moment in time. Do we have 23 science? Actually, we could buy... Bigger rockets? We could buy... Okay. Is that a rocket? Those aren't. It's a, that is a rocket. It's a um, solid, another solid fuel rocket. All right, that's new rockets. That's like a radial decoupler, which would be nice. Okay, so we can get one of these three things. This thing has has uh, parach has more parachutes. I wouldn't, you know, be too too against getting and landing struts. This has more more rockets, and I do love me some rockets. Oh, and then general construction stuff like launch stability enhancer, radial decal, like an actual radio. Ooh, that's what I want next. I think it costs 45 science, but will include a tri coupler, which is so I guess uh, we can fit in one more rocket launch. Probably. Okay, we got new engines, so let's, uh... Let's, oh, these are, this thing's tiny. That's, like, really, really tiny. So let's, uh... We'll use this as... How about we use this as, like, a safety net kind of thing? There we are. That will, that, that was uh, those those little mini solid fuel boosters will work as a uh, safety net for when we're falling, you know, hopefully to uh, help slow our descent. Okay, what else do we get? Really, really big solid fuel boosters. That's uh, mystery containment units, utility, structural. So what we're gonna do is something like this. Okay. Okay, we're, we're we're doing this again. Solid fuel boosters, very very large ones. Perfect. That is a lot of solid fuel. We got another liquid fuel engine. I believe this is the new one, which is which one's the new one? Seven was going to another breakthrough in the LVT series. Inflected thrust to aid in craft controls, and all these mechanics will make it slightly small and less powerful engine compared to the other ones. So that may actually be what we want. I can't just tell which one we have. Okay, whatever. So here's the plan, as of right now. We use these solid fuel boosters to get ourselves into orbit, and we use the smaller engine we have to do a burn that will get us around orbit. Actually, what we're going to do is run another control group right here. Move those into that. Okay, so we should be good. Save this. And for science, we'll uh Well, we'll see what it, we'll see what it does. That is a lot of solid fuel boosters. Turn on the SAS module, throttle up to maximum, and let's go. Holy shit! That's working real well. So crew report. Send it. Observe the, observe the mystery goo. Okay. 
and liquid fuel is not going to run out anytime soon it looks like. This is actually working out very, very well. So, let's, wow, this may actually, this may actually work. I, I can't believe it. So that'll help us get basically back right on track, but I'm going to drop that engine. Like that. Okay, where are we? I think we're about a good height to do this. So the next thing we need to do is turn off this and turn off this engine. Turn off our SAS module. I believe we need to do something like this. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. What are we doing? Okay, to slow, slow, slow. Come on, no, come on, gently, gently. Okay. Uh oh, come on. I'm, I'm watching this little uh, target nerd down at the bottom. Okay, stop right there. And throttle up to the maximum. We'll see if we can get enough speed to do this. Not quite orbit. Not quite orbit at all. Is there the mystery goo? Transmit that. Okay. Hatch is obstructed by the other solid fuel booster that we added in. So and we don't have not like we have another we have another charge left to do anyway, so let's uh so the ship is throttled up, so we can't go any faster, but now we can. FD. I do believe that is currently the highest we've ever been. So that is that is something. Okay, we're gonna do. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! That is not what I wanted to do. That the, the goal was the, the ship would be flight would be you know pointed up when those boosters fired. Maybe that's what I need to do. So I put them all on the same stage, maybe. That might be better. Okay, so space center, 7.9 G's as our maximum G force, which probably was not too fun for them. Okay, and with that, the, the, I guess the major science episode of this is over. Don't worry, there, there will be more science. I can uh, almost guarantee you of that. Yeah, it looks kind of like a penis. Or like, or like maybe the Enterprise. I don't know. Okay, so with that, that will be it for this episode of Kerbal Space Program. If you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like or comment below. And if you guys like to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe to the bottom left of the video or in the description section below. Next time, we're, we're, we're going into orbit. Maybe. Maybe.